Hi, this is a short featured video where I will be showing you how you can program your Arduino powered ESP32 board that will control the movement of your stepper motors. This prototype was made with a wood base and was created by my students to simulate the movement of a printer head using their mobile phone as their control. Using their mobile phone, then it is quite possible to control the precise movement of your step or motor. If you want to learn more, then let's start exploring. Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I would like to feature a simple Internet of Things prototype created by a group of students that I am mentoring. It was supposed to be 3D printed but since not everyone has a 3D printer, so they have just used wood which I think is really cool. It uses several stepper motors controlled by an ESP32 board through their mobile phones. Stepper motors are used extensively when you need precision movements like your 3D printers your robotics projects, or even your cameras. You would see here that they have two NEMA stepper motors, an A4988 driver modules, the rail, the head, and the timing belts are all attached to the wood frame, and two limit switches at each end, so that it would detect if it is already at the left side or at the right end side of the rail. The stepper motor runs at constant speed and is being controlled by the A4988 module. The ESP32 acts as the controller and it is programmed using the Arduino framework. Using the ESP32, then they can control the precise movement of the motors using your mobile phone browser as we have used or have deployed a web server inside the ESP32. So. If you have your web browsers like this one, then as you can see, if we try to click these buttons here, these are the commands that you can execute so that you could tell the head of these uh, stepper motors to move left and right. So let's try. If I click sweep, then what's ha what will happen is that this head will go from to the left and into the right. So let's try. And as you can see, the movement from the head of our IoT project, it moves from the left and the right. So if we click the left side, then it stops at the left. If we, if we click the right sides, then it stops at the right. Now, if we try to click the reset, then it should move back to the, to the rest position, which is at the left side. So, as you can see, it stops at the left left side. Now, if you go to the right and then we click stop, then it should stop automatically. I click right and then click stop. Then you would notice that the head stops. The whole system is programmed using the state machine concept so that the movements of the motor can be controlled by the ESP32 web server. Also, it uses WebSocket so that the messages between the browser and the motor is received in real time. The goal of this video is to show you that you don't need sophisticated 3D printers to come up with a proof of concept for your Internet of Things project and all you need is just your imagination and the will to learn. But I would like to give a shout out to the group that is that has made this project as I think this is really cool. Until then, happy exploring!